welcome and let's look at the different echogenic characters of various tissues. The sonographic echo texture of the tissues is described as homogeneous when it has a similar appearance throughout the organ and it is described as heterogeneous when the appearance of the echogenicity varies throughout the organ and it's also described as fibrillar when the characteristics of the tissue is fibrous. The echogenicity of the tissues is described as anechoic, hypoechoic, hyperechoic and isoechoic. The tissues are said to be anechoic when there are no echoes coming from the tissues and the tissues will look dark and the tissue is called hypoechoic when the appearance of the tissue is darker means has less echoes as compared to the surrounding tissues on the other hand the tissue is hyperechoic when the tissue appears brighter as compared to the surrounding tissues means has lot more echoes than the surrounding eco the tissues and is called isoechoic when the echogenicity of the tissue is similar to the surrounding tissues. Let's look at the echogenic characters of some of the common tissues. The skin appears as a uniform hyperechoic band, 1 to 2 millimeters thick, and the subcutaneous fat is hypoechoic, then skin, and the echoes are produced by the fibrous septa. So the echogenicity of the subcutaneous tissue will vary depending upon the amount of fat and the fibrous tissue content in the subcutaneous tissue. The muscle appears as oblique, parallel, hyperechoic stride against a markedly hypoechoic background. The muscles show up as unipennate, bipennate or circumpennate appearance when seen on, on the longitudinal scan and they look like a hypoechoic mass surrounded by a hyperechoic rim on a transfer scan. The tendons have a typical fibrillar echo textures and they are strongly anisotropic and the, on the other hand the nerves are hypoechoic as compared to the tendons but they have internal parallel linear echoes and they are less anisotropic as compared to the tendons. Here this is your median nerve in the wrist and here is the median nerve at the wrist and here is the tendon. The ligaments are hyperechoic homogeneous bands attached to the bones. This happens to the lateral collateral ligament. Here is the head of the fibula and here is your tibia and here is the femoral condyle and here is the lateral collateral ligament stretching the hyperechoic less fibrillar than the tendon. The fibrocartilage is homogeneous and hyperechoic. Here your fibrocartilage is homogeneous and hyperechoic. The synovium is hypoechoic and is normally not visible. And in this situation here you have your MTP joint, here is the fibrous capsule. Here is the synovial lining which represents a thickening of the synovial lining because of the synovial proliferation and appears as a hypoechoic thickening of the synovium. The bone is smooth and essentially a perfect reflector. Here is your bone, very very smooth and a perfect reflector. The periosteum cannot be recognized as a separate structure normally, but if there is a pathology in that situation, you may be able to see the periosteum as a separate layer. Uh, the hyaline cartilage is hypoechoic band superficial to the subchondral bone and fibrocartilage as mentioned is echogenic. The blood vessels, they are n-echoic linear structures. Here seems to be the radial artery 
on the longitudinal scan and here seems to be radial artery on the short axis scan and they are n echoic linear structures here you see the small hypoechoic lining which is your endothelial lining showing up here is the list of your hyperechoic structures for your reference here is the list of your anechoic and hypoechoic structures again for your reference.